Hey everybody, this is Roy Canning, and today I'm taking a look at the Valkyrie Hero Pack for Marvel Champions. Let's get into it. Alright, let's take a look at the Valkyrie Hero Pack here. She starts as Brunhilda, which has four recovery. Set up, set aside the Death Glow upgrade out of play, um, which we'll look at in a second. And then Not This Day Action, detach Death Glow from and set it aside out of play. Cool. Um, and then as a hand size of 6 and 12 hit points, so pretty good hit points there. And then on the other side here, we have Valkyrie, um, which is 1 thwart, 2 attack, 1 defense, um, death perception. Um, this is a hero action, which says, play the set-aside death glow upgrade as if it were from your hand. So we're talking about death glow this time. Let's see what death glow actually does. So death glow is a 1 cost upgrade. So you could basically treat it kind of like it's in your hand, or if it's set aside, you can treat it as in your hand. And then you can attach it to an enemy. Force interrupt. When attached to an enemy, when attached enemy is defeated, set this card aside out of play. If Valkyrie defeated the enemy, ready her. So if you put Death Glow on someone, you'll be able to ready Valkyrie um, after they're defeated. So that's awesome. So you could, it's basically like a card that you kind of always have in your hand, but to put it on someone, you're going to have to pay this one cost upgrade. And then you could attach it if you're in Runehilda to be able to take it off of an enemy if you think they're not going to be defeated soon enough and things like that. So let's go ahead and look at some of the other cards here. So we have Annabelle Riggs. So this is a two cost ally, one thwart, one attack. Afterglow, exhaust Annabelle Riggs, search the top five cards of your deck for a Valkyrie card, add to your hand, and shuffle the rest back in your deck. Awesome. And then Valhalla, this is a two cost support. After Valkyrie attacks, defeats an enemy. Um, if they have Death Glow attached, exhaust Valhalla and draw one card and heal one damage from Valkyrie. A ton of this stuff is going to have to do with her Death Glow and having that on someone while you defeat them. So we're going to be trying to combo that a lot with Valkyrie here. Valkyrie Spear, this is an upgrade restricted. Valkyrie gets plus one defense, plus two defense instead of defending it against an enemy with Death Glow attached. So you attach it to the villain and you have plus two defense when you're defending. Attach it to a minion, you're going to be able to have plus two defense when you're defending against that minion, that sort of thing. Then my favorite here, Dragon Fang. This is a one cost upgrade restricted. Valkyrie gets plus one attack, um, plus two instead if the, attacking an enemy with Death Glow. Awesome. So now Valkyrie's two attack is going to be up to a four if you're attacking the person that actually has the Death Glow on them. That is awesome. And then Aragorn here is a two cost upgrade. Valkyrie gets plus four hit points and gains the aerial trait. So got your cool little Pegasus there. Um, Flight of the Valkyrie. Two cost upgrade response after an enemy with death glow is defeated. Discard a discard flight of the valor and remove five threat from a scheme. So if you get this out into play, you can end up removing a ton of threat from a scheme whenever you actually are able to kill off someone with that death glow on them. You have a couple of those. Then a zero cost event, visit Valhalla. So after a or an after Alter Ego action, return Valkyrie card from your discard pile to your hand. So that allows you to get those cards back. Then a zero cost event, chooser of the slain, search the encounter deck or discard pile for a minion and put it into play. And then you get to draw two cards. So this is going to be able to get you some of those minions out that you can put Death Glow on and hopefully be able to kill them off easily and be able to get your cards and be able to trigger all your Death Glow effects. Then Shield Maiden here is a one cost event. Um, Hero Interrupt when an enemy with Death Glow at Attach, ah, attacks, declare Valkyrie as the defender without exhausting her. She gets plus two defense for this attack. That's really cool because you don't actually exhaust her when you're defending. And if they have Death Glow, it can work with your spear and things like that to just give you a ton of defense so you're not taking those damage. So a couple of shield maidens. And then have at thee. This is a three cost event. Hero action. It uh, deals seven damage to an enemy. If the enemy has Death Glow attached, it gains overkill. So you're going to be able to hit a minion and then bust through to the villain. And you actually have three of those in the deck, so doing a ton there. And then we have some of our aggression cards, because Valkyrie is an aggression character here. This is a three-cost ally Thor, um, one thwart with one consequential damage, and three attack with two consequential damage. Thor does have toughness, though. When Thor attacks a minion engaged with a player, spend a power or electrical resource there and resolve um, this attack against each minion engaged with that player. So Thor can bust down a bunch of minions at the same time. And then Throg, gotta have Throg, is a two cost ally, one thwart, two attack. 
Um, after he enters play, give him a tough status card if you are engaged with a minion. So another awesome card there. And then I love Angela here. Angela is a zero cost ally. So a cost zero, how could that be fair? Um, zero thwart, um, but two attack um, with one consequential damage. But she does have three hit points. That seems extremely good value for zero. But as a force response, after she enters play, under your control, you search the top 10 cards of the encounter deck for a minion. You put that minion in play, engage with you, and then shuffle the encounter deck. If that minion was, if no minion was put into play this way, um, you discard her. So you kind of have to get rid of her if you weren't able to actually get a minion out there to, to, to have to fight off. Um, then there is a two cost support here. Um, Hall of Heroes, this was also in the Thor deck, I think. A response, after you defeat a minion, place one glory counter here, exhaust Hall of Heroes, remove three glory counters from this, and draw three cards. So if you're defeating a bunch of uh, minions, you're going to be able to draw extra cards. Then combat training, giving you that extra attack, which you've seen tons of times. Then quick strike, um, deal your damage to an enemy, or deal damage to your, an enemy equal to your attack. So another awesome card to help you get some extra damage in there, especially if you're able to buff up your attack. And you get three of those, then smash the problem. This is a one cost event. Exhaust your hero, remove threat from a scheme equal to your hero's attack. This is a cool way to be able to remove threat with your actual attack there. So if you're able to boost your attack again, this is another great card that can also help you remove threat. So Valkyrie's all about dealing that damage and being able to remove threat with that damage too. That's pretty cool. Zero cost event, best defense. Um, whenever your hero defends against an attack, use its attack or use its attack instead of its defense for this attack. So everything here, making it so you're able to use your attack for things instead of just your other stats. And then Audacity is a resource card, max one per deck. Um, after you spend this card, deal one damage to the villain. So just a way to ping the villain with a resource there. Then Power of Aggression, we've seen that a bunch of times, making your aggression cards easier to play. And then we've got a couple of extra cards here um, that are neutral cards, a one cost support called the Bifrost. Um, play if your identity has Asgard trait. Exhaust the Bifrost, search your deck for an Asgard ally, and, and put it into play, paying its cost. Shuffle your deck. It's kind of like teleporting your Asgard allies into play. Pretty cool there. Zero cost event, godlike stamina. Play only if your identity has the Asgard trait. Heal two damage from your identity. You may discard a status card from your identity. So being able to heal you up a little bit, you have three of those in there as well. Then we have the normal energy, genius, and strength in the deck as well. And then we have the obligation and um, minion here, which I don't go over too much, but we'll take a little bit of a look at these things. So of course, Enchantress here, messing stuff up, searching the encounter deck and discard pile set aside area, and for um, a copy of these and putting it into play, messing you up with all of these different things like that. You don't want to be seduced by Enchantress at all. Of course, um, we have the extra cards that could be added into the deck for different things. Um, Problem Solvers is a four cost event. Um, Alliance, Hero Action, Exhaust, and Avengers character or a Guardian's character remove X threat from a scheme where X is the combined thwart of those characters. Awesome. So you pay four for that. It's really expensive, but you could get some threat off of a scheme. Leadership Training, one cost support, max two per deck. Um, alter Ego Action, exhaust this card and remove one training counter from it. Choose a leadership event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. That seems awesome for any leadership things, especially if you have cool events that you need to get back. Um, then, um, Anticipation, one cost upgrade, maximum per player. Um, this is a preparation card. Um, when you're engaged with a minion, discard this card to ready your hero. That is awesome. So you can jump up and hit that minion again. Um, then, Cosmic Alliance. Um, this is an Alliance card. Um, Avengers or Guardians character. Um, when ah, Choose an Avengers or Guardian character. Ready that character. This is a hero action event, so you can basically ready your guy back out there and you're able to pull that off. Awesome, well that is everything that comes in the Valkyrie hero pack here. Let's look at my thoughts. So Valkyrie is super interesting with the whole Death Glow stuff. That's really the main thing about this deck is that she has that Death Glow card that's always in play that kind of, well, sets aside from play, but you always have it that you can kind of 
put on an enemy, and if it's not on an enemy, it comes back, and then it triggers a bunch of abilities. It's able to un unexhaust Valkyrie, and then like her weapons are better with it. A lot of her events are better with it. A lot of those things. So you're just trying to manipulate that death glow and put it in the right place. If you attach it to the villain, it might be stuck there because the villain's going to have a lot more hit points before you're able to actually defeat it. But sometimes you might want to put it over on the villain so you can get extra defense because of your spear or extra attack because of your sword, different things like that, and then able to trigger different things. Um, but it's really good for popping around on minions, especially small ones that you're able to easily kill. There's been some combos that I've had with Death Glow in this where it's been really fun to be like, okay, I throw Death Glow on a minion, I kill that minion off immediately, I unexhaust Valkyrie, I have another card, and I put Death Glow on another minion, exhaust, and then unexhaust, and you can rinse repeat that a little bit with the cards you have. It does cost resources to actually play Death Glow out, but it's interesting the cool little combos that you can do with Valkyrie. Um, I love aggression decks. I'm always a fan of like hit the enemy hard and fast, and Valkyrie lets you do that. She has a lot of stuff that buffs up her attack, and then she has has event cards in there with the aggression stuff that lets her use her attack extra times basically to do extra damage. I really enjoyed the Valkyrie deck. I think this is a fun one to check out, especially if you like doing lots of damage and the interesting like manipulating minions and manipulating that death glow stuff on there. So for me, Valkyrie is definitely going to get a seal approval. I definitely enjoyed the deck a lot. And if you're interested in this at all, make sure to check it out. Anyway, I've been really enjoying Marvel Champions. What's your favorite thing for Marvel Champions right now? What's your favorite hero? What's your favorite villain? What are you looking forward to in the game? Um, but this has been Roy Cannae. I'll see you on the next one.